Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Nikon Coolpix P100. This is a 10.3 megapixel camera with a 26x zoom and a CMOS chip with backside illumination. Now this is a bridge camera, it falls somewhere in between a digital compact and a digital SLR. Let's take a look at what you get inside the box. Now this has been out so this isn't exactly how you'll find it packaged when you buy it. But it gives you a good idea. You get a user manual on CD. You also get some service warranty information. Some safety information there. And we've got some support information for if you need support. We also have a printed quick start guide. So this will at least get you up and running nice and quickly without having to load up that CD manual. And then in the main compartments you get a nice Nikon branded strap for the camera. And in this bag here, we've got a USB cable for transferring data over to your computer. Further down in the box, we have got a power charger. This is a two pin charger. So if you're in the UK, you will need an adapter. USB port on the bottom of it. And there we go, further down in the box, no need for that adapter. We've got a little snap-on adapter here which converts the two pin to a three pin UK plug. And then we have got a video cable so we can output composite video uh, for the movie footage to your TV. And then in the last section of the box, the biggest section, we have got the camera itself. Here's the camera. Very, very nice design. So I've been using the Nikon Coolpix P100 for about a week now and been enjoying every minute of it. Very nice camera to use. I'm going to give you a quick tour around the camera. Now this is a 3 inch LCD screen on the back. It is an articulating screen but it doesn't swivel out so you can basically angle it down and you can pull it so you can angle it up for low level shots and then you can fold it back into the body. But you can't angle it out this way, it's not hinged, so you can't use it for self-portraits. Now the back of the camera also sports an electronic viewfinder, and we can switch between the two. If I just take the lens cap off and turn the camera on, we can switch between the screen on the back and the electronic viewfinder by pushing this button here. The electronic viewfinder, not fantastic. It's good, it's good enough for the job, not the best I've seen on the camera, but the three inch LCD screen, absolutely fantastic. We've got a display button here which displays the various information on the screen while you're shooting. We've got an HD and HS mode here. We've got a mode control dial. We've got a play button here which plays back images that we have already uh, taken with the camera or switches back to photo mode. We've also got a four way rocker switch just here and this controls things like flash, exposure compensation, macro mode and self timer. We've got a trash can button here for deleting photos and then we've also got a menu button which takes you into the extremely easy to use menu system. I'm not gonna go through all of the menus but you can see the top one here is the shooting menu, gives you image quality and image size. Then we've got some movie options. This does record full HD movies. If I go across to this top one, you can see you can choose up to 1920 by 1080, and that is 1080p. So extremely uh, good movie options on here. And if we just go back to here, we've got some rotate image options, copy, black border, choose key picture, 
sequence display options and then also some setup options so as I say I find it quite boring for the viewer if I go through every single menu option but there are loads of options and it's very very neatly laid out as well one thing I should mention is we've also got a vibration reduction in here as well it's electronic rather than sort of a, a, an optical uh, reduction but it does work very well the wind noise reduction also works very well when you're shooting video so worth noting that they perform uh, admirably now back round to the top of the camera this is where you will find the stereo mic pickup very very good audio quality here we've got a small button which we can push to activate the pop-up flash here we've got a mode dial switch all the normal things you would come to expect on a camera we've got a sports mode scene mode uh, favorite scene modes face detect mode and if i go around to the back this is subject tracking and then u is user settings and then m for manual aperture priority shutter priority program mode and then the little green symbol is auto mode and this is where the camera tries to detect what you're actually taking so if you are actually taking something close up then it will try and switch around to macro mode for you one button i forgot to show on the back is this direct record button if you're in hd mode as we are now and we hit this we're recording hd video footage straight away then back round to the top we've got an on off button we've also got telephoto control for zooming in and out as you can see the lens does protrude a long way when you use that zoom button and then we've also got the shutter button here half press to focus push it all the way in to actually take the photo now round onto this side we've got completely blank just give you a look at the front nice grip this is a nice deep grip so you can get a nice firm hold on the camera and all the way round to this side we've got a little flap here that we can peel back with that audio connection for the supplied cable and also an HDMI connection with the lead not supplied so you have to buy your own HDMI cable around the bottom of the camera we have got a tripod mount and underneath this flap we've got the battery compartment and also an SD card slot so you can record to SD or SDHC memory cards and clip that back in place so what do I think of this camera well I've been using it as I say for about a week now very very good quality pictures nice and fast to focus just give you an example of that on video if I focus in on here locked focus already let's zoom in too close to focus focused already take the picture extremely fast extremely responsive also impressed that you've got a uh, 10 frames per second still capture so when you're shooting photos full 10 megapixel resolution at 10 frames per second the HD video footage is also good one of the things I don't care for if I just turn the camera off is the lens cap I prefer on these sort of cameras integrated lens caps if you forget the lens caps on and turn the camera on you get this grating noise because the lens is trying to protrude you need to remove the lens cap so it can in fact turn on all the way I just don't like the fact that this isn't integrated minor niggle as you can see on the side here I did mention this early on in the review but you've got a 26 time zoom and that's optical zoom so you've got a very very long range on this camera extremely good optics and I'm very pleased with how it's been performing so that minor niggle aside about the lens cap the Nikon Coolpix P100 is a very good camera if you're looking for something in between a compact and a digital SLR. It's going to cost you around about £299 in the UK or if you're in the US you can pick it up for around about $375. This is my review of the Nikon Coolpix P100. Thank you very much for listening. Please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.